This construction video will highlight how to construct a right triangle given one leg and the hypotenuse length. First step, what we want to do is we want to, just with our straight edge, make a decent size ray. It can be a line segment or a line, does not matter. Just make sure it is a decent size. Second step is we are going to put a random point on this ray segment line, whatever you decided to create. And we'll give it a name, point C. Now we're going to go up and measure the leg we need on our right triangle. We're going to open up our compass to the width of L, which will be our leg. And then we will come down to the ray and make two arc marks on both sides of C that have length L. So there's our first arc mark. And then on the other side, our second arc mark. So the distance from C to each arc is length L. Now what we'll do is we'll go to our hypotenuse length and measure that with our company, compass. So we will open up our compass a length of H, and we will now go to each point of intersection, and we're going to make an arc above or below. It doesn't matter. Probably easier to do above. Keep that same compass opening, which is length H, and we'll go on to the other side, and make sure these two arcs do intersect each other, and let's give that point of intersection a name. This point right here, let's call it point B. And now it's up to you. We can do this right triangle to the left or to the right. First thing we'll do though is bring it down from B to Z. And now we can either go from each point of intersection from this arc or this arc. It's up to you, your call. And we can finish this off by giving this other point vertice a name. We'll call it A, be creative. And now you have right triangle ABC that measures H for the hypotenuse and L for one of the legs right here. So if you wanted to write down which one is which for whoever's grading your construction, that has length H, this has length L, and here is my right angle. So again, this is the construction for a right triangle given one leg and the hypotenuse.